Hey guys, this is the Omega Bacon, and this morning when I woke up, I received a very nice email from Sony giving me uh, early access to a little application, I suppose, maybe a game, called Tag. So here it is. For those of you who don't remember or don't know, Tag was announced pretty early on in the Vita's life, probably alongside Frobisher says. Um, it's a free game. As far as I'm aware, it's only available in the EU. Uh, I don't know if there's any plans for a US release. Please let me know if you know any other details. But yeah, let's start it up. So Tag is basically a location-based game. Um, and as you could probably guess, it's a graffiti game. Okay, so I'd sort of forgotten about this game, it's been that long. Um, I don't know if there's any other information given about it, but yeah, Sony decided to give me an early release this morning, so thank you. And please send me more. Okay, so when you boot up Tag, you get this little menu screen. Uh, let's go through the tutorial quickly just so you get a better idea. Um, so basically, you're creating graffiti, and you can go out into the world and tag different locations for other people to see. Um, I have to say that before downloading it, the email did say that this is only compatible with um, 3G models of the Vita. Um, at the moment, my 3G has expired just because I've not really wanted to use it. I've seen no reason. Um, but this game still appears to be working. Whether or not the Wi-Fi Vitas have a GPS system built into them, I'm not sure, but I'm guessing if you guys can use maps, then if you, as long as you've got Wi-Fi or some internet connection, you should be alright, but again, I'm not too sure on those details. Okay, so here we can see uh, an example. You make your tag in this little paint application, and then when you're ready, you can go out onto the streets. I can't go onto the, out onto the streets because I don't have 3G, I've got to stay in, you know, the area of my Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, it also points out that it's not so much tagging a wall or an object, but an area. So it says there, a tag zone is 20 meter area that covers the space where you tag. Okay, so it's making use of the camera and sort of, um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called, but the uh, augmentation. Yes, that's the word, the technical word. And then you get your map and you can see where other people have tagged areas. Um, I live in Tokyo and I think this is only available in the EU, so I'm probably not going to see any tags. But uh, if you're in Tokyo, come tag up some places so I can get some points. Okay. And then you can go around see other people's tags and then claim their property for your own. Um, and there's a whole sort of leveling system that we, I'll get into a little bit later. So yeah, it's, it's saying here your tags get timed protection but only from lower ranked taggers. Anyone at the same level or above can over tag you at any time. Okay, so I'm guessing these are all the different levels. Beginner, tagger, writer, bomber. All city bomber. King, king of country, legend, and tag veteran. So that's pretty cool, some nice little illustrations there. Uh, yeah, then there's a little tag it shop, um, which I was a bit worried about because I thought it was going to be for real cash. But as far as I'm aware, it uses the in-game currency that you earn through leveling. So the more you tag, the more points you get, the more stuff you can unlock. And then this is the main screen. So yeah, it's it's pretty basic. Uh, let's go and create a new tag. At the moment, I don't have that many options because I've only just started. Uh, I've not bought anything new. So you can type in any uh, five-letter word. And you can sort of move around the letters as you like. Uh, you can even use two fingers to sort of give it a twist, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think you can make them bigger or smaller. There are other fonts available 
later. So that's looking kind of nice, quite like that. Um, yeah, then at the top you've got some more options. So now I can go ahead and change the font. Uh, I quite like that font. So press the tick there. And I've got a groovy little um, tag going on. So it's not looking too exciting, it needs a bit of colour. So we can go to FX. Um, and this one seems to just be the outline of it. It's not actually doing anything. Let's choose red. No, let's choose blue. I like blue. And press that. And I can't see it. Then you've got the transparency um, over here. That you can scroll up and down, but I don't know why that's not working. Yes, and blue. Go blue. Okay, that won't let me do that. Anyway, let's keep going. Then we can use these sort of, I think they call them stickers, um, which are kind of cool. We've got some clouds. Let's use a bit of fire. Um, but it's in the text itself. Um, so, ah, 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 I see. So I'm using the back panel now to adjust those uh, flame effects, which is quite cool. Mm, a bit difficult to. I'm trying to get that G there. Okay, there you go. So all my letters are on fire. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I can change the color. Ooh. Here we go. That's looking pretty smart. And then on the on the left hand side here, you've got layers. So if I wanted, I could add even more stickers. So what else do I like? Uh, I like this kind of go faster line. Whoa. Okay. That's gone right through the middle. Um, that doesn't look as cool. But let's, what the hell, let's go for it. Let's move that about. I'm using the back touch. Sorry if I'm moving the Vita around quite a lot. And yes. That's, let's try and change the color. Oh, okay, so maybe we can change the color of these. So, okay. I don't know how to change the color of the text then. That seems a bit strange. I'm sure you can do that. Um, so let's have some, let's have some green stripes. And the flames, which was layer one, I'll make, da -da 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 -da. it's got to be red, I suppose. Is there an orange? That's kind of brown. And again, you get these little marks. Let's press that, actually. We can go into the shop and purchase more um, colors, infills, effects. Ah, maybe I need to unlock those to color. Yeah, so you can see at the top, I've only got 31 tag it points. Um, there's my level, beginner. Uh, I'm in Tokyo, Great Britain, apparently. Um, yeah, but I, as far as I'm aware, you can't use any real money to buy things. Not at the moment, anyway. Maybe when it launches, you can. But I think it's quite cool if you can unlock the stuff as you keep playing. But I don't have enough points to buy anything, so let's leave them red. Okay. So, I'm pretty happy with that. There's not a lot more I can do with it, to be honest. So, let's save it. I, I don't know... Is that load? Is that save? I'm scared now. Maybe this is save and exit. Let's do that one. Blatantly going to delete everything. Okay. So that's the one I made earlier. So hopefully this is the new one. I'll be a bit annoyed if it's not. Or am I overwriting? that one now, I don't know, I'm a little bit lost. Okay, so I've overwritten that save file, well that's fine. Okay, so before we go tag anything, we can look at the map here, it's just a simple kind of Google Maps kind of thing. Uh, you can see my area. Um, yeah, you can see a little green, green circle there, that's where I've already put a tag. I guess I could go sort of just outside the building if I still had wireless. Um, but the GPS signal here is a little bit shoddy in this room. So I've been having some connection problems. So slide this little green label 
Oh no. And let's go back. Okay. So we can see leaderboards here. Okay, so there's a few people playing. Quite a few actually. Um, I'm ranked 700 something, which is 712, alright. Probably by tomorrow I'll be about 9,022 or something like that. Okay, local. Is there anybody living nearby? No. Okay, you can follow people's tags, so if you've got a friend, I guess you could go and abuse their tags. That's quite cool. And let's go back. Alright, so yeah. I'll uh, give you a little example of the tagging system now. So if you bear with me for a second, I'll be right back. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back again. Um, I'm sorry if this is going to be really shaky, because... I'm trying to hold the V2 with one hand and my camera with the other and I'm not the most steady handed person but anyway let's try and use the tag function so here we can see the camera and this is the problem that I keep getting um, just a second if I press cancel it seems to be alright again so here you can see moving around with the camera oh and look what's there it's my previously placed tag. I don't know how well you can see that. It's just floating about in the air. Um, so why don't I go ahead and change it. So that's the real world image. My Star Wars poster. And before you say it, yes, I know episode one is Pride of Turd. Okay, so let's try and replace that with our new tag. You already own this spot, are you sure you want to update this tag? Yes I do and hopefully we'll see our new tag coming up. Shazam! There we go. So let's try and walk a bit closer to the tag. Oh I know this doesn't look great, I'm sorry. But it's the best I can do. Uh, if we try and go a bit closer it should get bigger but maybe because my signal is so bad. So that's basically it. If, we, if I went outside I could tag something else. But I don't have 3G so... Yeah that's it. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any more questions about tag, any uh, advice, and don't tell me my camera works shaky because I already know. But thanks for watching. Rate and subscribe and please comment. Thank you and bye bye.